What is up, Karatix? In this video, we'll be talking about this week's Triple Money Event Week, as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for April 1st through April 7th, 2021. And this is not an April Fool's video. And this event week is pretty normal for the most part. And at the time I'm recording this, we don't have snow in GTA, but last year they did put it, so I'm sure that will probably be later in the day, but we'll see. I will update that in the pinned comment if we do, in fact, get snow later on. The current Casino Podium vehicle is the Grotti Itali RSX. The overall design of the RSX is primarily based on the Ferrari SF90 Stradell. It released about three months ago with the Cayo Perico Heist update and normally costs about $3.5 million with its normal price and about $2.6 million with its trade price. So this vehicle is in the sports car class and is one of the fastest in the class because of its speed and acceleration. However, in terms of handling, it does lack a bit in comparison to the Pariah and the Ital GTO, which just have better traction and downforce through the corners. The RSX feels like it lacks the downforce when you're pushing it in higher speed corners, which really impacts its performance in my opinion. But even with that, it's still pretty competitive against the Pariah and the GTO, just depends on the track. And of course, being a new car, the customization is very good as well. But anyways, for those of you who originally paid full price for the RSX and are not happy about it being on the podium, you can still take the one you originally purchased and sell it for about 1.7 million depending on your upgrades and how much you paid for it originally. So is the Itali RSX worth attempting to win by spinning the lucky wheel over and over this week? Well considering this thing's ridiculous normal price and trade price, I highly recommend trying to get it off the wheel if you don't have one already. It's normally way overpriced for what it is in my opinion, and getting it off the wheel for free is pretty awesome. So starting off with the property discounts, we have 40% off the hangers as well as the upgrades and renovations for them as well. The hangar is needed to purchase and customize most of the newer aircrafts in game, so keep that in mind. Moving along, we have 40% off the following garages. So the arcade garage, the nightclub garages, the casino penthouse garage, the arena garages, the CEO office garages, the normal garage properties, and lastly, the personal vehicle storage bay for the MOC. So <laughs> tons of discounts for those of you who want to expand your vehicle storage space. Moving on to vehicle discounts, we have 40% off the Coquette D10. So this car is in the sports car class and is pretty fast in a straight line. However, in terms of acceleration and handling, it's pretty bad. It accelerates as if it's starting in a higher gear, and the handling is just plain broken in my opinion, but it's still a great looking car with great customization as well. Next up, we have 40% off the Vision. So this car is in the supercar class and is extremely good looking in my opinion. It has an awesome driving experience with decent speed. However, it's not very fast in comparison to most of the supercars. It places itself around mid-pack for most racetracks, which isn't too great these days, but again, it's still a nice car to put in your supercar collection. Moving on to the Severn San Andreas website, we have 40% off the Segoy. So this car is in the sports car class and handles like kind of garbage in my opinion due to its front wheel drive configuration. However, its styling and customization are still very good in my opinion, so that sort of makes up for it. However, even at this price, I still feel it's too expensive for what it is. Pretty much a Honda Civic, I think that's a bit <laughs> pricey. Next up, we have 40% off the Outlaw. So this little off-roader is in the off-roads class, obviously, and is normally about $1 million, which is just insane. And even at its discounted price, I still feel it's too expensive for what you're getting. It's not very fast, and in terms of off-roading, you're better off getting a proper off-roading truck, which costs a lot less money and will off-road a lot better. Moving along, we have 40% off the Sultan Classic. This car is in the sports car class and is pretty good for most rally car style races. However, it doesn't really handle the bumpy sections too well. It's not as stable as the SE Sport or the Flash GT, so that makes it suffer a bit. But overall, I think it's a great car to own nonetheless. Moving on to the Warsock website, we have 35% off the Annihilator Stealth. So this Stealth helicopter came out recently with the Kyle Eagle update, and it's a pretty decent helicopter to mess around with. 
but there are definitely much better helicopters in the game in my opinion. Also keep in mind that you need to own a hangar in order to purchase it. Next up we have 40% off the Cargo Bob. So for those of you who don't own a Cargo Bob, make sure you grab it on sale this week. It's currently the only aircraft in online that can pick up vehicles and it's useful in a lot of situations. Moving along we have 40% off the Valkyrie. So this helicopter came out with the original Heist update and really isn't all that great in my opinion. I'd consider a different helicopter for sure if you're going to spend that much money. Moving on to the latest travels website, we have 40% off the Howard NX25. So this little plane is awesome to customize to your liking and it's pretty fun to do stunts with as well. And at this price it isn't too bad. Also keep in mind you need to own a hangar in order to purchase this one as well. Moving along, we have 40% off the Vestra. So this used to be my favorite two-seater jet in game up until the Pyro came out, which now has the highest top speed in the game, so the Vestra is pretty useless now. I honestly don't really see a reason to own it these days. And lastly, we have 40% off the Maverick helicopter. Not much to say here, an OG helicopter in game that I'm sure most of you have stolen and flown a thousand times. <laughs> I don't really see a reason to buy this, but uh, yeah. So that's it for vehicle discounts. Rockstar did a very good job in my opinion in terms of variety and quantity this week with plenty to choose from. In terms of free items, all parachutes and upgrades for it are free this week if you want to go ahead and claim them all now before they go back to the normal prices. In terms of triple money, we have triple money NRP on the drop zone adversary mode which is awesome. So we finally have something on Triple Money again. It's been about a month since we last had something on Triple Money, so... It's not the best adversary mode, but it's still a fun one in my opinion. In terms of Double Money, we have Double Money NRP on the parachuting modes, which is pretty different, I guess. <laughs> I think I've only done those parachuting modes like once or twice in GTA, if I'm being honest. But I might revisit it this week. Next up, we have Double Money NRP on the Motorcycle Club Work and the club challenges repeating from the last week. And lastly, we have Double Money NRP on biker business selling missions as well. So finally, I'm glad we got it this week. Last week they sort of teased us with it, but they didn't actually give us the biker <laughs> selling missions. But this week we actually got it. So now we can get millions in passive income this week while you're doing other activities in game. Moving on to the Prime Gaming discounts for Prime Gaming members only. I will leave instructions in the pinned comment on how to become a Prime Gaming member if you aren't one already. So we have 80% off the Silvestra. This car is in the Sports Classics class and is a fun little car to drive and customize. But unfortunately, it's nowhere near the top Sports Classics cars in terms of track performance. But again, it's still an awesome little car to customize and to drive. Next up, we have 35% off the Slam Truck. So this thing came out recently. It's in the Utilities class. It can actually be used in races, which is pretty cool. But what's not cool is that you cannot actually tow vehicles with it, which is quite unfortunate in my opinion. The best you can do is put a car on top and maybe drive two miles an hour, hoping it doesn't fall off because any little aggressive steering movement you make, the car will start to slide off and it does get pretty annoying. But for photo shoots and stuff, I think it's a pretty cool thing to have. Moving along, we have 40% off the Mancha Scout. This bike released recently and is pretty fun to customize and do endless wheelies with pretty much. And is very cheap as well. It's not very fast, but that's not what it's made for. It's mainly made for messing around, doing wheelies and off-roading. And lastly for Prime Gaming, you will continue to get the Sonar Station upgrade for the Kasaka Submarine for free. This upgrade normally costs 1.2 million and getting it for free is pretty awesome. I'm not sure why they keep giving us this upgrade on Prime Gaming for free every single event week for like the past four months now. It's, it's, it's been a while. But anyway, don't forget guys, just for logging in this because a Prime Gaming member, you'll get a free $200,000, which is pretty cool. Again guys, if you don't see a discount on the Sylvestra Slam Truck or the Mancha Scout, is because you don't have your Prime Gaming account linked to your social club. Again, all the information on how to do that is down below in the pinned comment. And lastly, we have of course the RC Bandito time trial La Fuente Blanca. This week's normal time trial is Grove Street, 
I highly recommend are the Hakachu Drag, Shotaro, Batty801, Emerus, Krieger, the Tala GTO, Pariah, or an open wheel car for that time trial. And this week's premium race is the Supercar Race Senora Freeway. I highly recommend I already divest 8, Emerus, or a Krieger for this race. Every Friday, I post a guide on how to easily beat the time trials and premium race, so stay tuned for that if you're new. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. Overall, this event week is very good in my opinion, with tons of discounts and good double money opportunities this week as well. Again, still no Panther statue from the Gallup Eco Heist, which is kind of unfortunate, but overall, I think this is still a great event week. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.